Hello everyone. I'm going to be showing you guys a little tutorial today on how I do overlapping planets. Got a bunch of requests for this. So uh, first of all, I'm going to think about where I want the colors and the planets. I'm going to put them on this corner from small to big. Lay down some yellow right here for one of the smaller planets. A little bit of orange. All right. And lay down some my favorite color, the seaside blue by Rustoleum Painter's Touch. I'm gonna go ahead okay, and cover this whole area up here because that's where I want my bigger planet to be as well. Take some uh, blue, some brilliant blue. Cover mostly the big planet, a little bit right there. My favorite is navy blue. A lot out here on the big planets, a little bit right there. I'm gonna try a technique where I just smear the whole entire thing if possible. Got some cool stuff in there, in there. That, I, I didn't get a chance to hit that, so. Take some of this plastic I like to use, you know, in the grocery store, wherever. Lay down right in this area here. I definitely like this area for my smaller planets. So what I'm gonna do is, just temporarily, I'm gonna cover that up so I can paint white on this outside and not get paint on this. So actually, I'm going to take a big one. I want to cover all this area because I like all that for planet. So I'm going to cover all that just for now. Take the white again, okay? I'm going to cover because I have a certain way I want this outer planet to look. So I'm going to spray all that white down. I'm actually going to let that dry for about a minute or two, depending on the weather. Right now it's kind of windy. I have the door open. It'll probably dry faster. So I'm gonna let that dry for two minutes and come right back. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this plastic I like to use as well. Gotta make sure it's big enough to cover the whole area. I'm gonna grab another one to make sure it is. All right, so this guy here is big enough. I'm gonna take this bag and cover this little area right here where I sprayed the white. And don't lay it completely flat, just lay it down real loosely lightly brush it with the fingers and you can slowly pick it up and as you can see all of a sudden you, you start to get this pattern which i like that pattern a little spot right here didn't quite come out so i'm gonna go back with the plastic you just keep doing it until you actually get the look that you like that's normally what i do I'm take a little bit of the cheap Walmart white spray that around these edges or the edge of my big planet where I know my stencil is gonna go so that'll be drying the whole time while we're doing the other planets all right cool now I'm gonna lift this up okay I'm gonna go back to these planets in here okay so I'm gonna focus on these ones right in here. All right, now I got this Valspar. I love the tip and how this sprays. Got a piece of poster board, little commercial deal. I'm gonna spray on the inside of here. So I like this guy right here. This makes a really cool planet. 
Now when you do it, make sure you don't get too much of the black overlapping where your next planet's gonna be. So you gotta make sure that you're actually mapping it out in your head. So <coughs> that's cool, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna do one over here in the corner. So I've got here. There's, you don't need a whole lot of paint when you do this shading. Just a little teeny bit. Make sure you get the shading exactly how you want it. So when you go back, you're not disappointed. <laughs> All right, so I, I like that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let this dry for a couple minutes, maybe, honestly, maybe even up to 10 minutes, depending on, once again, the weather and so forth. But once it completely dries, I'm gonna lay the little stencils caps over top of that and then shade the background of this next planet. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna take a little stencils here. And to me, the key is letting this stuff dry because that's when you really get the planets to come out clean, maybe as you'd want them. Went ahead and put a little guy over here too. I just looked for cool areas to make little planets. All right, now I'm gonna shade this guy, which is gonna end up going about right here. So I'm gonna map out where I want the shading. I like to use this cheap Walmart blue. Going in a nice like half circle motion. Trying to get that shading. Making sure I spray around those planet stencils right. All right, that's the blue. Now I'm gonna take the black and spray that black here behind the blue. Get a little contrast going. So basically, I'm gonna let that dry. When that dries, I can pick these little teeny caps up and lay this down on my spot and then start working on this bigger one here. So I'm gonna let that dry once again, maybe five minutes or so, I'll be right back. We're gonna pull these two guys off. Actually, this guy, I wanna keep on, he just came off by accident. So those two are off. Okay, those are pretty cool. So I'm gonna take this guy here, gonna map it out where I want it. Right there. Have to maybe back a little bit. There we go. Okay, now, here comes the big key. When I do this overlapping, what I've done is taken this little like, took a serving tray, so it's kind of thin. I took some, some tin snips from metal, aluminum, and cut this out. You know, it's kind of, kind of ghetto, but it works, so what I'm gonna do is go over to here and see where this is gonna match up so that I make sure I'm not out too far. All right, so this looks like it's gonna work. Now the key is this whole cap I have over here, I think this is tall enough, it is. Just gonna make sure I can uh, put this guy down. So what, what I'm actually going to do is leave that down and shade this planet, come back, pick this up, and then put this back down. So let's do that. So right now, I'm going to shade this big planet here. The key is the right shading so each planet has its own depth behind it. Just want to make sure it's enough shading to be in front of this planet. Put a little bit more blue right there. That looks cool. Now I'm going to take that black again. I like using this black and blue because it shades so easy as opposed to the Rust-Oleum or really anything else, in my opinion. So, once you get that little contrast going the way that you like it, Ok, 
there. I like that. So now I can lift this guy up. So now there's going to be one more little planet right there. I can lift this up. Now you have that going on. So now the key now is letting this dry so you can lay this down. Now you can leave this on. Let's say if it's a much bigger piece and you didn't want to get any paint on it. But in this case, I can end up removing this and once this dries, just laying this down. And when I paint, just make sure I only paint in this area over here and don't paint this area and you'll be good. So I'm going to let this dry for a couple minutes. Be right back. I'm going to take this guy like I was showing you. Like I said, I could leave this on if I was really worried about getting paint. But since this is going to cover the whole thing, I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. I need to make sure this is, you got these little weights I put down too, just to make sure that all the edges are flat on this guy. I'm gonna say it got a little bit of white. Lay that up here, a little circle of it. Lay down some blue. Lay down some navy blue. Whatever does that, take this little guy here, scrape off the end, bam, back in business. All right. Taking this magazine paper, I'm gonna tear some of it off. I'm gonna go up here and just spin it. So lay it down, move it, pick it up. Hmm, it's almost there. Make it as small as you need it to be. I'm gonna lay this down. Spin it. Lift it up. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Alright. Now I'm going to take this navy blue. Stark blue. And also keep one of these on me in case I need to press this down at any point if it's not flush on it. Because you want them lines to be tight. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll spray the outer circle of that to leave that inner part. Go ahead and spray the rest of the space. It's cool. I'm gonna take some black. Add a little bit of black in different areas here, just around the edges. Just random. stars in here and we're just about there. I spray down here a little bit on the side, I flick off to the side. Make sure you get something all inside that nebula too. Whatever you want that to be, a portal nebula. white here. I'm going to spray a little dot right in the center. Sometimes I'll let it dry more. But in this case, I kept on spinning the paper, which actually pulls paint off and can make it dry faster. So it should be good. So I'm going to spray right in the center. And now that sort of like comes alive. So we're going to lift this up. So there you go. Now you have the layering of the two planets, which I started doing first. And remember, when spraying, lay down those colors first. Put this one down, did that one. That little guy crept in there, kept him. Because you can always leave the top down and pick it up and put bigger things on top of it. So to me, that's the key in doing the multiple planets. I hope this helps.